Hello, I will try to show in this video how I uh, installed the manual April, April air humidifier, the whole house humidifier 600M in this uh, weird setup. The furnace is turned upside down and the main unit will have to go down here and the other end for the 6 inch duct hose will go up here and um, over here I will have uh, the air, the uh, water supply. So I'm gonna show you uh, what parts there are and uh, how I install them. It's not a professional installation, so bear with me. This is the transformer for the 24 volt power because that's what it uses. And this is the humidistat where you control the humidity manually. It has uh, some numbers up there that show what to set it up to in uh, what kind of uh, weather if it's um, um, less than zero degrees or 20 if it's over uh, zero degrees now in this uh, package here there are some instructions they are not the greatest but they will do and the manual and this saddle valve that no one likes I had it before when I had this Honeywell full house humidifier but I'm uh, taking that off and putting another valve. Uh, this is the owner's manual and here are some wiring instructions for the uh, automatic one and the manual one that will show you how to wire it. It looks like in most cases the wiring is not the same so for this one I had to we will see at the end what I did but it wasn't as it was uh, instructed uh, here is the water filter and the housing you can I can go this way but then uh, the six inch hose will be in my way as you can see down at the bottom there's already a cutout from that Honeywell now and it was uh, placed up. Now this one, the the main unit will place down, and you can turn it around. You see that black uh, nozzle on top. You can put it on the bottom. That's for your water drainage. And uh, this is this was the problem with my uh, with this setup because the coil is right there, and I had to be careful to cut it not not to damage it I did it very carefully now um, this is what it will be uh, set up as right here because it will be easier for me to cut and uh, make sure that I don't damage the coil so I uh, use the marker and the actual housing to mark the lines where I'm going to be cutting I didn't use, a, there is a, a template provided, I didn't use that, so I just made sure that I cut a, a wider hole than it what it is. So I think I, I did okay there. I uh, was able not to damage anything. And I did some research, it shouldn't be okay, it should not damage anything. The humidity, uh, it should be okay with the coil itself. So you gotta make sure that it fits. If it doesn't, obviously make a little bigger hole. And uh, there are uh, two screws on, on one one screw on each side, and then two on bottom and two on top. And uh, this one, <laughs> the unit doesn't come with screws or any kind of hoses. So you gotta pick up pick it up yourself. You can even use some uh, regular screws for this setup. Now, make sure the filter, the nozzle go inside on, on the bottom in that hole. It goes through and then it needs to click on top. That way the water, on this the gray hose, this one right here, the water comes in and it spreads it apart. Spreads it all the way around the filter and the, when the warm air blows from the inside of the furnace it will go back into the system it will kind of circulate 
Now this uh, cover you can even turn on the the April Air brand name uh, in order to to uh, fit uh, for the hose for the six inch duct hose. You, you can put on the left or on the right hand side, so you can turn everything around depending on what your needs. I <laughs> this is kind of a problem because I had to go all the way down for the drainage, but it's draining well. I was kind of concerned about that because it doesn't it's not as high as it should be for the water to drain correctly but it's it's doing an okay job right here I'm gonna cut uh, a six inch hole that will uh, go it will be used for the duct uh, that will go back into uh, the uh, return so this is the old hole where uh, the honey wall was uh, placed so I'm gonna use this uh, extension and uh, make some cuts on one side that way when I when I put it inside I can spread it apart and make sure it's uh, secured that it won't go out so something that I did by myself I, I had the piece laying around so why buy a an original one if I can make something myself. So when you put it there you make sure you're using gloves and protection and um, spread it apart and then I use some the, some of this uh, tape that will uh, both hold it give it some extra strength and uh, it will not let any air go through so it will be tight this way I could have used a, a board or a piece of metal sheet to make that uh, stru structure sturdier but I can just try it out this way if it doesn't hold I can always go back and readjust it shouldn't be a big job but I think this will hold it. It's it's uh, it's a, it's it's a nice tape to to have laying around. Now here comes the. The duct hose itself. I use this kind because same thing. I had it uh, laying around. I'll see if it holds. If it does not, can always change to the metal one. But this one, um, I just use some uh, zip ties to secure it, and then uh, use some tape to go around to give it extra extra strength. As of now, it it still holds it. So. I think it should be okay. I'm fast forwarding this so you don't have to see all this but you get an idea. Now this is the bottom I did the same thing use some zip ties I didn't use any tape around it I don't think it needs it I checked it later it doesn't need any tape Just make sure that it is uh, tight. Now this is the inside. It should be uh, turned freely to summer and winter setting. This is the summer one. This is winter. It should the air should be able to flee to uh, flow freely. And now I'm turning it down just to check if uh, there are any air leaks. Uh, looks like the air is coming through and uh, it's nice and tight so I was able to proceed to the next stop this is the little hose that goes into the water supply make sure you uh, use a ring this is a what they call a shark well you can just uh, cut 
the uh, e existing pipe and then just attach this one it's very very easy it's like 20 bucks it worked out fine there are no leaks I just had to tighten it up a little bit more later I didn't want to do it at the first that you want to go too tight uh, same thing on the other end uh, on the unit itself it's the same concept you just gotta make sure that there are no leaks if they are you can just tidy a little bit better but it's it's a neat little thing A wrench should be used here, but I was too lazy. Now this is the electrical part. Now this is where it gets tricky. I was, this was the part that scared me the most. I did not break anything. I was confident I could do it myself. Uh, this is the power supply switch to the furnace. Make sure the the fuse is uh, set to off, and uh, I always check if there is any current <laughs> on the side. You can um, most of them have these little uh, outlets to add something like this on it, and uh, I used the black wire from the switch itself and the white one I just found one uh, in the furnace itself by the blower it turns out at the end I didn't even need this little transformer as you can see if you use only the transformer for the power the unit will run constantly so you would need a relay that attaches to the blower motor wire and then it senses the current and it turns it on in my case I didn't do that because the board the main board on the furnace had a humidifier connection and I was able to use that I had to check the owner's manual to see exactly what they need I first I connected one wire to the transformer and then the other one from the humidistat to the humidifier <coughs> connection here at the board but uh, that didn't make sense because uh, I suppose it needs power from one or the other I uh, use my instrument here just to see if there's uh, any 24 volt uh, current coming out of it uh, it was about 28 volts so that's pretty close the transformer was 28 too now I cut the hole in the return duct for the humidistat you attach the screws to it, that's pretty simple, there's a little template in the instructions that you can use for the hole and then one uh, wire needs to go to the unit and the other one wire I originally placed here on the thermostat and then I use the other one the to go right here. You see the HUM right here upside down. That's uh, where it's located on the board on the furnace. Now this is what it looked at the end. So one wire goes up there but to the humidifier section. The other one to one of these uh, wire series that was marked as 24 C I believe now this one so th this wire goes down to the main unit and the other one goes right here to the main board and then from the main board you run another one to the main unit so this what it should like look at the end
this is the drain if you like this video and you would like to get more of similar videos please subscribe and come back again soon thank you